Okay, let's see how to work with the sequencer and how to take advantages of the other tools that we have between uh, M-Gear and UE-Gear inside Unreal Engine for this 0.5 beta release. So the first thing I want to do is create a new uh, sequence. So I'm just going to go here and add a level sequence. I'm just going to call this sequence cut cut because it's cutting sausages. sausages. And I have it here, so the first thing I want to do here is to create a new camera. So I'm just going to create a camera there. Good, so I have my camera. And right now, I don't have uh, the butcher here, so I'm just going to go to my content browser, characters, b-boy, and I'm just going to grab the uh, b-boy skeleton, because this is the one I want to use. And here, I'm just going to reset the position, so it's somewhere there. And now, if I go to my sequence, on the uh, sequencer, I'm just going to add also the b-boy. And here, I want to add an animation. In this case, I'm just going to use the strong cut animation here. Just going to adjust a little bit my camera. So going here to the camera, let's grab the current focus. So it's uh, current focus distance. So um there we go oh uh, yeah there so i want to have these sausages uh, sausage on focus just I'm just gonna lower my aperture so we have this nice blur happening there and i'm just i think the, the camera is nice okay so i want now to uh, see what's happening so i have this cut happening here and i don't like the cut, how it's looking on this angle of the camera, but this is my camera, this is my good camera. So what I can do now, it's I can um, select the, the camera component, the, I'm sorry, the camera itself, and I can ask uh, inside Maya to get this camera. So we can go here on the uh, M gear menu, U gear, so I'm just gonna drop there here, and I can import selected camera from sequencer. So this is going to grab my camera, cinema camera actor, and I can come here to my uh, panels and select the camera. So you can see right now, if I switch quickly between both, we have the same camera. Okay, it's just slightly different the, the look because the one is Unreal and the other is Maya, obviously, but we have the same camera. Okay, now, so we have the same camera, we have the same animation. Okay, I'm just gonna take this and on my strong cut, so I'm just have here, it goes up here. Let's see, uh, this one, this pose, I don't like it, this pose, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna adjust it. And obviously this is a super simple um, example, but let's say my pose here, it's this, so now it's gonna go cha cha. It's going to be very ruthless with the uh, sausage. So I want to re-export my uh, strong animation. Uh, so I'm just uncheck this one. Uh, I can use this to uncheck everything and then check whatever I want. And export animation here. So this is going to process my animation again. And while it's processing, I'm just going to jump. Oops, doesn't want me to jump there. So let's see. Uh, it's processing all the okay so now i can finally jump here there's some messages as usual and here you can see now it's taking the new animation that i did so basically with that you can create your animations on omaya synchronize all the sequencer and eventually in the future obviously we are aiming to do the uh, rig also inside Unreal, so next uh, big release you can start animating inside Unreal completely so you don't need to go back and forward but for the moment and if you want to keep this Maya Unreal workflows we are helping you to synchronize all your sequences, cameras, layout and so on. Okay, so that's all for this video. I hope you like it. See you in the next one. Bye bye!